Hi guys, we're on Varian24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone Huawei Nova Y70. At the very beginning, we need to remove the card tray. For this, we take a special tool, insert into the hole and the mechanism, push out the tray for two SIM cards and memory card combined. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cover up to about 70 Celsius degree or 158 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer or heat gun. We heat it on the surface of the mat for 5 to 7 minutes and then we can proceed to detaching the back cover. We take a thin plastic film and we try to find a space between the back cover and the middle cover where we can insert this film. We are trying to find this gap. With this type of cover, it is not really convenient to pry at the corner. We can choose another spot, for example in the middle. We insert the film into the gap and then we slide it along the edge to detach the cover. The process is not always smooth or fast, sometimes the covers are glued well, sometimes the covers are made of glass, so we need to be as careful as possible. In our case the cover is plastic and because of this will be much easier to detach it. In this model, in addition to the back cover, the camera score also protrudes forward. They come separately and therefore the back cover is glued around the camera score. And after we unglue the cover around the edges, we need to unglue the back core around the camera's cover. We don't know where exactly and how the cables run under the back cover, but we can see on which side the side buttons and the fingerprint sensor are located. We need to work carefully in this area to avoid damaging the cables under the cover. And after 2 or 3 minutes, we can open the back cover. On the cover, we have only the gasket. And after that, we need to unscrew the screws at the bottom. We use a 1.5 mm screwdriver or hash 3 In our case, the screws were different in color and size and the screws were quite badly magnetic. So we can additionally use tweezers to remove them. After unscrewing the screws, we need to detach the camera's cover, because there are two more screws under the camera's cover. Carefully detach the clips, it's better not to use a metal tool, by the way, there is a recess on the one side of the cover, which is really handy to try. On the cover we have a flashlight. And then we need to unscrew the screws. As I said, the screws are different, so it is better to place them on a special surface, so as not to confuse when reassembling and we unscrew the screws at the bottom. They are also different. Mm -hmm. 
Now I will show you the something quite interesting. We did not immediately separate the middle cover, but decided to check if there are no screws under the adhesive. And as you can see one screw, if we leave it, we can easily damage the middle cover when separating it. After that we take, in our case, a thin plastic film or thin plastic tool and carefully detach the middle cover from the display frame. We run the tool alone, detaching the clips. Try not to run the tool too deep as not to damage the cables of the side buttons or fingerprint sensor. And we open the middle cover. On the cover we have a fingerprint sensor, which is connected by a cable to the motherboard. We need to disconnect the connector and remove the middle cover. On the cover we have numerous transmission lines and pads. And we disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. And we move on to detaching the cover with a speaker. It's not always obvious from which side to hook the cover to detach it. It's not always obvious which side of the cover is held by the clips. So we don't need to hurry, we need to try to hook the cover by different edges. Then we disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable. The connector is very firmly held, we must be careful not to damage it. Then we disconnect the interboard cable connector. And we can pry the subboard by the edge and take it out. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone, headphone jack port and other elements on the inside. After that, we disconnect the coaxial cable connector on the motherboard. We disconnect the interboard cable connector and we disconnect the display connector. So we can disconnect the connectors and take out the rear cameras. The large camera first, The two small cameras have holders that hold them in place. And we can also remove the front camera. Now we can detach the motherboard. It is really important to find the right edge where we can hook it so that the motherboard comes off quickly. And we take the motherboard out. On the back side we can see the thermal pest which can also hold the motherboard in place. And we move on to detaching the battery. We need to unwrap the brown tabs 1, 2 and 3 and read which one we need to pull. But we need to unwrap all of them so that they don't interfere with the battery and don't hold it. And as it became clear to us from the description, we must pull the tab number 3, gently pull upwards, detaching the battery. The side tabs should be unwrapped as far as possible, so that they don't interfere with the process. The tabs may become deformed during the detaching process.
and the battery is also held on one side by a transparent protective coating that protects the interboard cable and display cable. And we have detached the battery. Ok, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around. Ok guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. I read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next time.